What's up, family? My name is Elijah Ami, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a grown folk channel. This is where we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations and keep it real. Here on this channel, everybody matters. Everybody's family. Here on this channel, we express love because at our core, we are love. I love you guys, and thank you for being with me on this beautiful journey called life. Peace. What's up, family? Today is August 24th, 2022. Yesterday was August 23rd. It was a special day. A um, number of reasons. Um, I started my YouTube channel August 23rd, 2020. Um, on Kobe Bryant's birthday. We're talking about life lessons. Life lessons. I never understood, I never realized at the time when I started this channel two years ago that two years later there would be over 14,000 subscribers that my videos would have been seen in over 70 different countries and that I would talk to and meet different people from all over the world you know what I mean that was that never crossed my mind that never it was never something that I tried to do never something that I wanted to do you know it wasn't about that you know this platform was just about me dropping some knowledge and some understanding and just some life lessons that I've gained along the way, you know, for my kids and my grandkids, you know, I wanted to leave behind something for them, you know, so that after I was dead and gone, they could go back in and be able to see me and my element. They would be able to pick my head and learn some of the things that I've tried to share with them, you know, down through the years that they forgot about or, you know, they wasn't paying attention to or whatever the case may be, you know what I mean? I want to share that with them, you know, and I want to leave behind this platform so that they could pick up these videos. My grandkids and great grandkids can pick up these videos and see what I was about, you know what I mean? What I was passionate about, what I tried to do. Life lessons. I'm saying that to say this, we all go through different things in life. You know what I mean? Just because you're in a certain place right now, just because you're going through hell right now, don't mean that you're going to stay there. You know what I mean? Just because you're struggling right now does not mean that you're going to always struggle. You know what I mean? Just because you don't have the queen, the king in your life doesn't mean that you may not always get that or get them. You know what I mean? Stay with me. We're going somewhere. That being said, we have to grow up. You know, you guys hear me on this platform all the time talking about grow up. Hey, grow the fuck up. You know what I mean? Because for whatever reason, man, we haven't grown up. You know what I mean? And we don't have people talking to us, telling us to grow the fuck up. You know, um, the Bible talks a lot. And I'm not a religious person at all. At all. I don't believe in religion, in any religion. To each their own. You know what I mean? Do you. You know what I mean? Um... I use different things from different sources, you know, because I understand the wisdom in them. You know what I mean? I don't preach religion, you know, at all, in any way, shape, or form. But the Bible talks about a um, story in the Old Testament where the children of Israel, stay with me, I'm about to drop something on you. The children of Israel were slaves for 400 years in Egypt. Okay, so many African Americans have associated um, what the Egyptians or what the Israelites went through to what African Americans have gone through as far as being slaves in America. Stay with me, I'm going somewhere. So you have these Israelites in the Old Testament that were slaves in Egypt for 400 years. When they were set free, Pharaoh and all the Egyptians gave the Israelites all of the gold, the silver, the wealth of Egypt just to get rid of them, okay? God sent a man called Moses to Pharaoh and he did all these different things and it's like, man, let my people go and all this other stuff, right? And so much stuff happened to where it finally came down with Pharaoh, the, the, the ruler of Egypt and all the e Egyptians like, man, get, just let them go, you know, let them go, man, here, here, here. You know, take this, take this, take this, take this, take this, take all of this. You know, just get the hell up out of here. I don't give a fuck no more. Just go. 
we'll build our own fucking country. We'll build our own fucking cities and we'll do to just get the fuck up out of here. You know what I mean? We don't give a damn where you go, but take you and your fucking God and get the fuck on. Y'all doing too much now. Stay with me. This is what Pharaoh and the Egyptians were saying. And so they gave these slaves, these people that didn't get paid, these people that built the country, the people that built the cities and all these other things, they weren't getting paid. And so they gave these slaves the wealth of Egypt. Egypt was the most powerful nation at the time. And they gave all of their wealth to the Israel Israelites, to these slaves just for them to leave them the fuck alone. Man, I don't give a fuck, just go. Get the fuck about our country, not tomorrow, today. Get out, you know, get out. Your God is too big, your God doing too much. Get the fuck on, you know what I mean? That's what the Egyptians were saying. So stay with me. So the Israelites have all of this wealth and God has promised them for years, the Most High promised them for years and generations, man, I'm going to take you guys into a promised land. I have this land just for you guys. It's flowing with milk and honey, all this other stuff they're talking about, right? God had promised the Egypt, um, the Israelites, okay? God never promised them the wealth of Egypt. He promised them the promised land. Stay with me. I'm about to drop something on you. So after 400 years, these people leave Egypt and they have all of this wealth. Everybody's extremely wealthy. Okay? The whole nation, the whole tribe, if you will, the whole, all the Israelites, leave with all of that wealth going into the promised land that God gave them. But... <laughs> There's a but. Some of them ungrateful motherfuckers started complaining. <laughs> you know what I mean? God had watched over them for 400 years. God hadn't answered their, you know, anything. You know, for 400 years, nothing. And now all of a sudden, boom, overnight, you got all this wealth. Overnight, you're free. That's a message to somebody right there. Right there. Overnight. You know what I mean? You done caught hell for all these fucking years. And overnight, your whole fucking life changed. Overnight, everything get better. Overnight, you're fucking free. Overnight, you go from being homeless to being fucking wealthy. Overnight, you go from being lonely to finding the love of your life. Overnight, overnight, these all of these people's lives changed. Overnight. Stay with me. So they're leaving Egypt. Typical. Some motherfuckers start complaining. You know what I mean? Man, life was better when we was a slave and we should have stayed a slave. Now you got us out here in this wilderness. Now you got us facing this fucking, this Red Sea or whatever sea it was. And man, we're going to die and all this other shit, right? God heard that. God was like these ungrateful motherfuckers. You know what I mean? I don't just set they ass fucking free. I don't just deliver them from the hell that they were in. I didn't just deliver them. I delivered them and gave them fucking instant wealth. I delivered them and made them very fucking rich. I delivered them and I gave them above and beyond all that I'd already promised them. I promised them a land, their own land. I promised them the promised land. I promised them a land flowing with milk and honey and all this other shit. I didn't promise them all of this fucking wealth. This is extra. This is above and beyond all the shit I've already promised them. But these ungrateful motherfuckers now sitting out here crying and complaining about what they're facing. Bet. You motherfuckers forgot that quick who I am? You motherfuckers forgot just that quick what I just did for you? How I just delivered you? How I just set your ass free? How I just took you from poverty to fucking instant wealth? You forgot that fucking quick? You you pissed off now? Are you facing a little situation right here and you mad already? You ungrateful already? 
You tripping already? You turning your back on me already? And this is what so many of us have done in life. God brought you a man. God brought you a woman. God brought you a car. God brought you a business, whatever. And you started complaining. You became fucking ungrateful. And so what happens is God is like, all right, man, this was the one for you, but you don't fucked it off. This was the one for you, but your ungrateful, indignant ass just fucked it up. Do you know what I mean? Bet. And so what God said was, y'all motherfuckers gonna walk around this fucking wilderness for 40 fucking years. 40 fucking years. It should have taken them 40 days, just over a month to get from Egypt to their promised land. Their promised land. But for 40 fucking years, they had to wander in the fucking wilderness, rich as fuck, wealthy as fuck, and can't spend it. Rich and wealthy as fuck, but can't fucking enjoy it. Because they ass is wandering around in the fucking woods, in the wilderness. And all those ungrateful, indignant motherfuckers that was complaining about being set free and having all this wealth, all those ungrateful motherfuckers died in the wilderness. All those ungrateful motherfuckers never made it into their promised land. They should have been in their promised land years ago. Years ago. But because they ass got fucking ungrateful, because they ass forgot about God and got indignant, you know what I mean? Because they fucking asses got on some low vibrating bullshit. They wandered in the fucking woods for 40 fucking years and never made it to their promised land. Tell my life lessons. So many of us, God is about to bring this person into your life. God is about to open up doors for you. God is about to bring that queen, that king into your life, that business opportunity, that career opportunity, this home, this car, whatever. God's about to bring some stuff into your life. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up and get ungrateful. Don't fuck it up and get beside yourself. Don't fuck it up and get all arrogant and narcissistic and prideful. Don't fuck it up and pop, start popping your collar talking about look at what I did and whoop doop doop. Because God is bringing some shit into your fucking life right now. And you're, you can do right or you can fuck this shit up. And if you fuck it up, I'm giving you warning right here, right now. If you fuck it up, you're not getting another opportunity. If you fuck it up, you're not getting another chance. If you fuck it up, you're not getting another queen. If you fuck it up, you're not getting another king. If you fuck it up, it's a wrap. You ain't getting shit else. You ain't getting shit else. You're going to die in that lonely state. You're going to die miserable, complaining, talking about shit or would have fucking could have. You know what I mean? Get your shit straight. Grow the fuck up. Grow the fuck up. And so many people talk about, man, I've been lonely for 15 years. I've been lonely for 10 years. I've been lonely for 20 years. That's probably because God gave you a chance to do some shit and you didn't act on it. Or you fucked it up. God probably brought somebody in your life, but because you were so fucking miserable and pissed off at this other motherfucker for doing the stupid shit that they did, you didn't even give them a chance. Because you hadn't dealt with your fucking shit and God brought somebody into your life. God gave you another opportunity and you fucked it up because you wouldn't do right. We have to grow up. We have to grow up. We have to stop fucking deceiving ourselves. We have to stop acting like we got all this shit figured out. We have to stop acting like we're greater than what we really are. And what I'm talking about greater than what, we have to stop acting like we're wiser and deeper and more spiritual than where we're really at. Religion, church has taught us to fake the fucking funk. So many in our fucking society has came up with this, uh, they, they preach and teach this bullshit, fake it till you make it. 
fake it till you make I hate that fucking saying. I hate that fucking slogan. You ain't supposed to be faking shit. That's what's wrong with us. We so busy faking shit. That's what's wrong with us. We don't know how to just be us. When I say be us, I'm talking about the real us. The us that's loving. The us that's compassionate. The us that's connected to source. That is source. Man, I hear so many people. We're talking about life lessons. I hear so many people talking about, man, this is my twin flame. This is my soulmate. And it's like, that shit pissed me off every time I hear that shit. And, and I know the person saying it. It's like, how the fuck can you know this is your twin flame? How the fuck can you know that this is your soulmate? And you don't even know who the fuck you are. You talking about a soulmate, a twin flame, and you don't even know who the fuck you are. Once you realize and learn who you are, you may come to an understanding, a real quick understanding. This motherfucker ain't my soulmate. I just had some fucking soul ties to him, but they ain't my fucking soulmate. They ain't my fucking twin flame. We just connected sexually and do we connected on a level that we shouldn't have connected on. And so now I'm tied to this motherfucker and I haven't learned how to release that fucking bondage. I haven't learned how to release that tie. And because I don't fucking know any better, I'm thinking this is my fucking soulmate. This is the person I'm supposed to spend the rest of my life with. This is the person I'm supposed to spend the rest of my, this is my twin flame. We came here for each other and we'll do, 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 and we're going to be with each other. Da, 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 da. No, motherfucker, you connected on a frequency you should not have. And you haven't learned how to let that shit go And you haven't dealt with your fucking issues To grow the fuck up You don't know who you are And because you don't know who you are You won't give anybody else a chance Because you waiting on this deadbeat motherfucker That you calling your soulmate Your twin flame Who's out with somebody else In another relationship Gone on Moved on Don't want shit to do with you You still waiting on them Talking about God and Jesus is Gonna bring them back to me That's my soulmate That's my twin flame No the fuck it ain't You just lonely And you gonna be lonely The rest of your fucking life Till you grow the fuck up We have to grow up we have to grow. When you talk about life lesson, you have to understand. God ain't going to force anybody to do anything they don't fucking want to do. I'm going to say it again. For you real religious people that say all you got to do is pray about it. And just prayer changes shit. And we'll do the woo. God is not going to force somebody to grow the fuck up. God is not going to force somebody to bring their ass back to you when they don't want to. God ain't gonna force nobody to do that. God ain't gonna force nobody to fall in love with you. God ain't gonna force somebody to get out of another relationship to come back to your raggedy ass. Grow the fuck up. They ain't there because they don't wanna be there. That's a hard pill to fucking swallow, but we talking about life lessons. Grow the fuck up. You can think you all that. But you ain't the one for that motherfucker Because if that motherfucker If you was the one for that motherfucker He would be there She would be there They're not there because you ain't the one Suck it up buttercup It is what it is Move on Deal with your issues Deal with your abandonment issues And your low self esteem And your rejection And all this other shit Grow the fuck up I'm Talking about yesterday Kobe Bryant's birthday so many we're talking about life lessons so many of us talk about man we're honoring these people and honoring our our ancestors and honoring all this other stuff right i'm gonna say this to you you're not honoring your ancestors you're not honoring your parents you're not honoring nobody by sitting on your fucking ass whining and complaining to my life ain't there and woe is me and all this other bullshit you don't bring honor to nobody by being a fucking negative, toxic-ass motherfucker. Grow the fuck up. You don't bring honor to anybody by being a fucking victim and having a victim mentality. Grow the fuck up. You bring honor to these people that have sold into your lives. You bring honor to your ancestors, your pappy, your mammy, and everybody else, your granddaddy and your grandmammy and everybody. You bring honor to them by dealing with your fucking issues, growing the fuck up, and moving forward with your life and reaching your greatest good. That's how you bring honor to them. 
You don't bring honor to them by sitting there smoking and drinking and turning up and getting lit and all this other bullshit and wasting your fucking time. They didn't go through all the fucking hell that they went through so you could sit on your raggedy, lazy fucking ass wasting fucking time. Talking about, I'm bringing honor to Kobe Bryant, Mama Mentality, and Nipsey Hussle, and all these other people that have done what they were supposed to do in life, and you sitting on your ass not accomplishing shit, not doing shit, but talking about, man, I'm continuing the legacy, I'm continuing this, the journey continues, and the, and the marathon continues, and all this other bullshit you spew, because you want to sound woke, you want to sound fucking enlightened, you want to sound deep, grow the fuck up. You're gonna die in your fucking wilderness, never reaching your fucking full potential. Having all the wealth, having all the possibilities, having all the fucking potential, and not doing a damn thing with it. Man, this is a grown folk channel, you know what I mean? We talk about real shit here, and I'm not sugarcoating shit for nobody, you know what I mean? It is what it is. It is what it is. Man. We have to grow the fuck up. We have to stop playing games. We have to stop deceiving ourselves. We have to get busy. Not busy just being busy. Busy being productive. Not busy just being productive. Busy being productive, reaching our full potential and helping others do the same. You could be busy sitting there watching stupid ass fucking TV. You could be busy sitting on fucking social media, scrolling through your fucking phone, your laptop or whatever it is, and just liking and disliking all this other bullshit. You busy, but you ain't fucking productive. You ain't doing nothing righteous with your fucking life. Don't be like the children of Israel. Have all of that wealth, have all that potential, and die in the fucking wilderness never reaching their full potential, never reaching their promised land. I love you guys. My queen loves you guys. Happy healing. Peace.